Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to give you an in-depth look at the gauge cluster and all its functions in this 2021 Acura ILX base. So let's go ahead and hop on inside. Start it up. So, looking off to the left, you have your engine temperature, that, um, and then here you got a tachometer. Up at the top, in the middle here, you have a screen that is customizable. I'll get back to that in one second. Off to the right, you have your speedometer with kilometers in the middle, and you've got a fuel gauge off to your right. And then you've got this really long stick that's coming out of the um, screen here, or the plastic. And what this does is it actually allows you, if I push it inwards, you see the tripometer at the bottom, it allows me to switch between the tripometer and an odometer. And if I hold it, I can hold it to reset the tripometer. So what else I can do with this is if I twist it, it'll adjust the brightness for the gauge cluster screen. So twist it to the right for brighten and twist it to the left to dim. So down in the bottom, you got a couple little fixed screens here like the temperature, that'll show the exterior temperature, and what gear I'm in. Reverse, neutral, drive, or sport. And if I shift gears manually, it'll show that down there too. So looking at the screen itself, it, right now, it is showing me my fuel range, and that would be 109 miles right now. That shows me how far I can go before the car runs out of gas. So then I can scroll down using these buttons in the steering wheel right here. This is to scroll down, this is to scroll up, and this functions as a select button. So I use those to scroll down. I scroll down, I can see a timer right here. I can see my average speed. I can see all my um, safety functions here. My, uh, I can see my oil life. I can see my tire pressure. I can see my vehicle settings. So what I'm gonna wanna do with this is I'm gonna wanna press the select button. Now in here, I can adjust all kinds of different things. So you can see in the top, it says customize group one of eight. That means there's eight different things I can go through to customize. So let's select this, the driver assist. Here I have my forward collision warning distance. I can adjust the distance that I would like the car to alert me so I can have it close to me or far away from me. But if I want it to just be normal, I can select normal. Or I can select exit if I don't want to adjust anything. Here I have my forward vehicle detect beep. So this is if I want it to beep when it detects a vehicle in front of me. Turn that on or off. Here I can adjust whether I want it to be displayed in miles per hour or kilometers per hour. I can adjust my road departure mitigation. I can have it set to normal, wide, or um, the warning only so it won't like nudge the wheel or anything it won't it won't do anything it'll just give you a slight warning um, so the lane keep assist suspend beep I can turn that on or off and then I can exit this screen here I have my meter set up so I can change the language I can change it from English French or Spanish I can adjust the outdoor temperature display. So if the temperature's wrong for whatever reason, I can change that. It's like I can manually adjust the outdoor tamp tamp temperature. Um, here I have my, I can reset the timing for my tripometer and tripometer B. And then here I can exit. Here I have my keyless access setup, so I can adjust the door unlock mode, so when I unlock the doors, I can have it only unlock the driver's door, 
or I could have it unlock all the doors with the keyless entry. And the keyless access light flash, I can turn that on or off so the lights, I can have them, the hazard lights flash when I unlock the car or I can have them not do that. Same with the beep, I can have it do it or not do it. Here I have my lighting set up so I can adjust how long I want the car to wait before dimming the interior lights. Like when a door's been open and the lights come on. Um, I can adjust how long I want the automatic headlights to stay on, uh, on for when I um, leave the vehicle. Oop. And then I can adjust my auto automatic headlight sensitivity. So I can have it in the middle, I can have it low, or I can have it high. So let's go on down here, I have my door set up. I can adjust the auto door locks. I can have that on or off. Or I could have it, so there's a couple different ways I could have it on. I have the automatic, I could have the doors automatically lock when I shift into reverse, neutral, or drive, like anytime I go away from park. I can have it adjust to um, what speed I want it to adjust to. I can have it, um, but that those are the only two I can choose. So I can adjust the auto door unlock as well. I can, I can have all the doors unlocked when, when the car is turned off. I can have all the doors unlock when the car shifts into park. Or I can have all the doors unlock when the driver's door opens. And then here I have different settings for my key and remote. I can have it unlock just the driver's door. I can have it unlock all the doors. Um, and then when I walk away, I can, I can have it either lock. I can have it lock the car when I walk away from the car, or I can have it not do that. And then the keyless lock answer back, like whether it'll honk or not when I lock the car. So security relock timer, if I unlock the car and then it's 30 seconds goes by, the car will relock. Or I can, I can adjust that to a different time frame. And here I've got my maintenance info, I can reset it, I can cancel. And then if I click this, it'll revert all the settings back to default. So, that is it for the gauge cluster in the 2021 Acura ILX base. If I missed anything or if you have any questions, please leave a comment. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye-bye.